Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jack in Oregon. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick reminder. We have our prayer card here. So if you have a need today, please send me your first name. And on Monday afternoons, now that seems to be our habit. Um, I'm uh, asking you to bring a paper and pencil and take down the names for the week. And we're going to pray all of us together for the needs of the channel and family members and friends, etc. So anyway, thank you for uh, being obedient, sending me your name. Thank you for your prayers. And thank you for your precious friendship, your kind comments and your offerings through the super chats and super thanks. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Now, today I did read this uh, portion of scripture a while back about Paul's conversion on the Damascus Road, amen, and God actually blinded him, stopped him literally in his tracks, amen, blinded him on that road because God had a purpose, and folks, I guess I feel in my spirit, someone needs to hear this today. I'm feeling the bearing witness here in the spirit. It doesn't matter if you've been two hours saved, born again, or two days or two weeks or two years or 40 years or more like myself. God has a purpose for you. We are here in these last days. We were chosen for these last days. There's a purpose in each one of our lives and we are useful vessels to our precious Savior in these last days. That's all he asks is that we keep our ears and our eyes open and our hand available, right? Amen. So I'm just going to read a few scriptures, verses here out of Acts 26 about Paul's conversion. And then I'm going to read our word today. I've entitled it Doers of Purpose doers of purpose. Amen. So Acts 26, verse 14, and we'll see, maybe I'll stop at 18. Maybe I'll go on a little bit here. But verse 16, and when he had fallen to the ground, and that would be Paul, I heard a verse, of, of, I heard a voice saying to me in the Hebrew dialect, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is hard for you to kick against the goats. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, who you have been persecuting. But arise and stand on your feet for this purpose. I have appeared to you to appoint you to a minister and to a witness, not only to the things which you have seen, but also the things in which will I will appear to you, delivering you from the Jewish people and from the Gentiles to whom I am sending you to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light, from the dominion of Satan to God, in order that they may receive forgiveness of sin and an inheritance among those who have been sanctified by faith in me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So you know what? When you've had a hard day, when you've um, felt like maybe the Lord's over here and you're here, whatever the reason is, you know, don't forget, don't forget for one moment that you were placed here in these last days and God has a purpose for you. Amen. God has a purpose for you. So doers of purpose is what I've uh, titled this word here. My lambs be my doers. Be quick to see round about. Open with my eyes. Oh, look with my eyes to those who are hurting and in great need. The days are short. The needs many. My lambs, I am well pleased with my people. I know your hearts. Yet there are many round about who are in need. Children, this is a loveless generation. The people of this world are hard and self-centered. Uh, these times were written of. You are my vessels. You are filled with the love, not of this world. You are called by my name. You are called hope in the last remaining days. I'm going to repeat that. You are called by my name. You are called hope. In these last remaining days, some would say to you, I am fine, but my lambs, you have my discernment and you see truth. You understand the lifeless walking roundabout. You are hope. You are life. You are my people called by my name. You may be 
uh, the last ones to offer the hand of life, a hand of kindness. And that hit me when I was reading that, you know, we might be in somebody's life. We might be passing someone by only for a moment. We might briefly meet somebody. And then this line jumped out at me. You may be the last one to offer the hand of life and a hand of kindness. Wow. And, you know, I live in a city with many, many retired people. Um, and you know what? Some of these retired people are all by themselves. Amen. And you never know if anybody has talked to these people. It, it doesn't matter. Maybe not just an old person, but if someone's alone, maybe nobody's talked to them in days. And you might be the last one to offer that hand of life, a hand of kindness. Amen. They understand the world is failing. You offer words of life and hope. Why? Because we are God's vessel. Because we have the Holy Spirit within us. Because we have the love of Christ that radiates around us. Amen. Oh, my lambs, let it be known who you are to a dying world. Thank you, Lord. Your words, my words bring life. Your gifts, your kindness give hope. My dear church, I love you so. My dear ones, I will never leave your side. We will soon meet until that time. My lambs, look out and reach out for my purpose for you today. Know my purpose for you tomorrow. The harvest is vast and many. The dying falling pardon me, the dying, failing quickly. Learn how to be my voice to those who are failing. Some only need a warm touch, some a kind word. Some may need a touch from my word. Some may need to be fed. Oh, my dearest ones, I know your hearts. I know your prayers. I understand how you are made. I have created you for such a day as this. So my lambs, know your purpose for such a day as this. The days are short, the harvest many, the workers few. I am yours and you are mine. Thank you, Lord. So this is really a word about giving out, giving out. We're here, our purpose, every one of us. Many of us have different calls, different ministries. Some are teachers, some uh, are encouragers, some are prophets. We all have different gifts, but we all must be here for a purpose to give out. The harvest is, is vast, the workers few, whether it be a kind word, whether it be a touch, perhaps we need to feed and give more to others. Amen. So let me read it one more time. Doers of purpose. My lambs be my doers. Uh, be quick to see round about. Look with my eyes to those who are hurting and in great need. The days are short, the needs many. My lambs, I am well pleased with my people. I know your hearts. Yet there are many round about who are in need. Children, this is a loveless generation. The people of this world are hard and self-centered. These times were written of, you are my vessels. You are full of. Uh, you are filled with a love, uh, not of this world. You are called by my name. You are called hope in the last remaining days. Some would say to you, I am fine. But my lambs, you have the discernment. You see the truth. You understand the lifeless walking about. You are hope. You are life. You are my people called by my name. You may be the last one to offer that hand of life, a hand of kindness. They understand a world is failing. You offer words of life and hope. Oh, my lambs, let it be known who you are to a dying world. My word, uh, pardon me, your world, your words, my words bring life. Your gifts, your kindness give hope. My dear church, I love you so. My dear ones, I will never leave you. We will soon meet until that day, my lambs. Look out and reach out. Know my purpose for uh, for your today. Know my purpose for your tomorrow. The harvest is vast and many. The dying failing quickly. Uh, learn how to be my voice to those who are failing. Some only need a warm touch, others a kind word. Some need a touch from my word. Some may need to be fed. 
Oh, my most dearest one, I know your hearts. I know your prayers. I understand how you are made. I have created you for such a day as this. So my lambs, know my purpose for such a day as this. The days are short. The harvest many, the workers few. I am yours and you are mine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Doers of purpose, givers of life, givers of kindness, givers of hope. That's who we are. You know why? Because we are God's kids. Not anything of ourselves, right? It's not, it's not because of us, nothing. We are sinful, failing human beings, just like those that haven't met him yet, except we said, I will, I love you, I believe. And that's the difference. We are born again. We are his. They see the light. I don't care if you're having a bad day. They see Christ in you. Lift out a hand. Say a kind word. Amen. Know your purpose. Be a, a doer of purpose today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, watch over each one listening today, Lord. Lift them up, Lord God. Lift them above their circumstances if need be, Lord God, because that's who you are. You love us more than, than anyone around us, Lord God. And some of us have been blessed in our lifetime with, with wonderful love, Lord God. And we thank you for our loved ones. We thank you for our mates. We thank you for our children. We thank you for our extended family, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. We thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed on us, Lord God. Even though these days of turmoil in this cold world are hard, Lord God, we are your children and we feel and accept your love, Lord God. You are so awesome and we praise you and give you glory, Lord God. Lord God, remind us each day when we close our door and go out into the world, Lord God, that we are your people, Lord God, that we are here for a purpose, Lord God, that we need to be doers, Lord God, whether it be a smile to perhaps a lonely person, Lord God, a helping hand to someone in trouble, Lord God, the name of Jesus to someone who needs to hear that name, Lord God, because we are in a world, Lord God, that need to hear the name Jesus, Lord God. Bless and watch over each one listening today. Blood covering be upon your people, Lord God. Give them all that they need, Lord God, all that they uh, above, Lord God, even that they can pray, Lord God, because Lord God, that's who you are. You love your people. You are a God of grace and mercy, Lord God, a God of salvation, Lord God. And we believe for our unsaved children and loved ones, we believe, Lord God, that they will be up with us, Lord God, because that's who you are. That's who you are. Chase them down, Lord God. Chase them in the night hours. Chase them by day, Lord God. Bring our children close to you. With Lord, we want them with us in the end, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help us each and every day. Thank you for forgiving our sins, Lord God. Thank you for this day, Lord God, when when each one of us has most probably goofed, said a bad word, said something, had a thought that we shouldn't have had, Lord God, and looked upon someone with with that wasn't as you would have us look upon them, Lord God. So forgive us our sins, Lord God. And we pray that perfect will be done in our lives today. May we be doers of your purpose this day in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. God bless you. God keep you. God walk with you. His light shine upon you. His blood covering be upon you today. Thank you for listening. God bless each one. God bless you.